Hey everybody, welcome to Trendy NC Whiskey Talks. This is uh, week six or installment six of Whiskey Talks here. Pretty exciting, really. We've solved many of the world's problems so far. Yeah. I think we've we've sorted out Bitcoin and uh, the NFL and yep. uh, some rock bands and everything. It's really. really like we've touched on everything. We pretty much don't have to do any more now because we've. We've come across every situation you... But we're going to do more. Okay. okay. We're going to take on a, a, a world... No. No. Uh, Canadian... Um, North bu- American. Business giant. And today. that would be this guy right here. Timmy. Tim Horton. Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> All of our Tim Hortons. Oh, oh shit. you got that? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got it. Don't worry, we've got donuts. Tim Hortons gear here. Here's our donuts. And we've you, got French vanilla you Tim order a, You usually order a uh, a mixed catalog of donuts. I get ate, it in there. I I'm ate pretty them all. sure we ate all of them. I ate them all. Um, we've also got hazelnut Tim Hortons. And we've got the uh, French vanilla Tim Hortons. Oh, I said that already. Okay. And then we've got the regular Tim Hortons. But so I think these are just really grabbed out of my cupboard there pretty quickly and pretty easily we are tim hortons lovers we've said it before it's been in plenty of our videos it's, breakfast it, sandwiches it's a part of being canadian it's yeah. like kind of this this thing and it, it it's not like it's actually the best <laughs> or you know like tim hortons <laughs> coffee isn't okay. the best right, coffee right. in the world right it's, but it, it's kind of just there, and it's ready, and it's ready to fucking go for the us. The price is right, yeah. and, you know, the service is good, and I, it's the location. i got to say, like, the first time I tried Tim Hortons coffee, getting a double-double, which, for people who don't know, that's two cream, two sugar. But that's, like, what you call it, a double-double. Right. And uh, I remember the first time I tried it being like, this is amazing. Right. I need to have this at like ten thirty at night. How can to I go to bed? How could I possibly do two cream, two sugar myself? Yeah, yeah. They've got the ratio down right. Well, anyway, sure. look, look. We got to get serious here. Um, we we've got a problem with Tim Hortons. We kind of do. Yeah. Uh, specifically, Tim Hortons in Ontario, and the reason for that, <coughs> the reason for that is because there has been a recent. Um, increase in the minimum wage in Ontario, and it's gone from like eleven forty or something like that to fourteen dollars. Yeah, like two dollars and sixty cents. Yeah, it's gone up two dollars and sixty cents. Per hour. Which, per hour, which I gotta say is like super reasonable, and probably most provinces and states and places in the world. You should no human is should be expected to live a decent living off of eleven twelve dollars an hour. The thing specifically though is I think if you look at what the um what what's required for a living allowance in Ontario, mm-hmm. it is extremely high. Yeah. I think there's very few provinces or states um, in North America that match Ontario. I think the only thing that's even close is maybe Vancouver and BC um, of what it actually costs to live. Like we're talking about rent over a thousand dollars, probably on average. We're talking about let's put it this way: twelve dollars an hour, even fourteen dollars an hour is below the poverty line. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's so it's in Vancouver they say it's twenty dollars and fifty cents to become at the level that you're not in poverty anymore. So the point is that Tim Hortons, what they're about to do here, what a certain couple of locations of Tim Hortons are doing here, is taking away from those people who have just barely gotten to that point where they can sustain living. Yeah. So what's happened is basically there's two there's two locations, um, two what do you call franchises, franchises yeah. in Ontario that are owned by Tim Horton's daughter 
and the other co-founder of Tim Horton's son, who happened to be married, the two of them. So, multi-billionaires. They are multi-billionaires. They billion own, with a B. They own two franchises. Yeah, and otherwise the family is worth billions of dollars. Right. Well, what they did recently is to oppose this $2.60 an hour that they're going to have to pay their employees, they said, we are going to cut your paid breaks and we are going to cut your benefits. You now have to pay half your benefits yourself. We're also going to cut your um, paid birthday. Like they're punishing it, the employee. They're it, punitive measures against the employees for something that the province of Ontario brought in and they're punishing the employee. And I think it's what's kind of insane about the whole thing. <laughs> I, I, think, I think what's insane about the whole thing it's insane. Is, is the fact that these are two franchises. Right. Okay? So, and these two franchises are owned by multi-billionaires. Billionaires. Okay. With and, a and B. Fair, you know what? They, they made their money fair and square by being born into it. Right. But. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But all these other. Okay. You have to understand something about Tim Hortons. I live in a small little town where there are three Tim Hortons right. that are lined up around the block all day, every single day, hour by hour. Well, the people that Tim Hortons employs are typically either, um, they're low, you know, I hate to say it, but they're low skill workers. They're either... Very young people. Yeah. They're elderly people who can't find employment. They are possibly disabled uh, people that can't find employment. Yeah. Um, they're really just the under... The, under, um, the underdogs. Yeah, really. The, <laughs> the underprivileged, the underdogs, whatever you want to call them. But they're the people that, you know, they, they need... If anybody needs this wage increase, it's those people. And, and, and it's funny because... In reality, probably they're the ones actually working their asses off more yeah. than a oh, lot for of sure. these people that are making however much. And they're dealing with shitty customers and people that like can't get their order straight. Oh, the other people that are often employed, they're like immigrants. Yeah. You know, so yeah. it's like they are the underskilled, the underrepresented. And now they are being specifically targeted and punished by Tim Horton's daughter and the other co-founder's son, who are worth billions, they're taking away the small benefits that these people have yeah. in their jobs. So, essentially, they're punishing um, these employees mm -hmm. for an actual uh, federal government sanction. It's a provincial thing. government. Provincial thing. government, government provincial sanction yeah. thing. So, because they've decided to increase wages, they've decided these two individuals have dropped benefits where I don't know if that's, that's fair. I it's mean, completely we're, 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 we're trying to be as unbiased about a lot of our, our whiskey talks as much as possible. But in reality, we got to fight for the little guy. Yeah, this, is, this video is for the little guy. I mean, we, I we know. don't own a Tim Hortons. I mean, we don't own a small business. We, we're a bit of a small business ourselves here. Trinity and C's. Trinity and C's. It's hugely small. <laughs> <laughs> we're operating in the, in the red, I believe. They were unavailable for comment because they're at their Florida home. Yeah. Winter home. They refused to talk to Trinity and C. <laughs> <laughs> when we called them, they refused to answer because they're at their Florida home. Um, yeah. So, you know, like the other locations of Tim Hortons in Ontario... They're operating okay under these new right. rules and guidelines. The other thing is that now it's in the news saying, well, prepare to pay more for your Tim Hortons coffee. And don't. Okay, so now you're going to pass it on to us, the customer? So the, oh, the, that ain't cool. The consumer has to pay the extra whatever. I mean, in my humble opinion... People should be paid what they're worth. Th this day and age, you cannot really make a living off of anything lower than $15 an hour. Well, listen, really. in, 
in Ontario, it's a totally different game because Ontario's cost of living is so high. Just um, like Vancouver? And just like Vancouver. It's so high. Like, I know there's people in the States being like, I don't even make $15 an hour. But your cost of living is like half as much. Right. Like, you have to understand where we're talking about. Like, we're yeah. talking about single family homes for a million dollars. Like, a regular old single family home for a million dollars. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, the point is, is we do love our Tim Hortons. And we do, you know, we're, we're actually, because of this, we might cut our Tim Hortons and take that to, like, to. might maybe once a day instead of twice. And you might have to consider it, too. <laughs> but, you know, I, th I think it's a, a big part of trending C is looking out for the little guy. And uh, it turns out that this big, huge conglomerate uh, franchise chain has actually been starting to screw around the, the average Joe, and it comes back to the consumer. Look at some of these news articles. I think you should go to Tim Horton's website or their Facebook page or their Twitter or anything and voice your opinion and let them know what you think about the Ron Joyce and his um, decision to punish his workers for what the province of Ontario has decided. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's all we have to say. Do you want, let us know if there's any other little injustices going on in your neck of the woods because we'd like to hear about it. Um, We're going to tell the 10 people that watch this show <laughs> exactly what the hell's going on. All right. So cheers, subscribe. Hopefully you like this video. This You might have clicked here to learn about whiskey, but we have that on other days of the Thursdays week. Thursdays and Saturdays. Thursdays, whiskey reviews. Saturdays, whiskey unboxings and different things. Tuesdays. We complain about shit. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.